Tyreek Hill, a wide receiver, talked candidly about his experiences dealing with the fallout from a fire at his South Florida mansion ahead of the Miami Dolphins vs Kansas City Chiefs wildcard playoff game. My spouse is doing well. Mom is doing well. My nephews are also doing good. So, dude, that's all that matters. Hill informed the press. Officials reported that a toddler playing with the lighter on January 3rd caused the fire at a Southwest Ranch's estate to start unintentionally. In roughly two hours, the firefighters contained the fire. Though the attic and roof were the only areas of the house affected, a large portion of it had smoke damage. Hill received the news while he was at practice. According to a number of media accounts, the fire damaged the almost $7 million home for $2.3 million. Hill said that while he and his family are staying and enjoying their time at the beach, he has no idea when he will return to the property. In a statement acquired by Espen, Tyreek Hill's attorney refuted claims that the Miami Dolphins wide receiver shattered a woman's leg during football exercises at his house the previous season, branding them as baseless. On February 23rd, Sophie Hall, the woman, filed a civil case in Broward County. Based on events that happened at the receiver's Miami, Florida house on June 28th, Hall, a self-described actress, model, and social media influencer, accused Hill of battery, assault, carelessness, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Hall claimed that after Hill had flown her to South Florida to spend several days at his house, he became angry and embarrassed when, on the day of her arrival, she had knocked him back while playing football. This lawsuit claims that Hill charged into her violently and with great force, resulting in significant and serious injuries. Hall said that Hill minimized the extent of her injury and refused to see her doctor after it happened. After all, she added, she was told she had a shattered leg and she would require surgery when she got back home. Julius B. Collins, the lawyer for Hill, refuted Hall's claims in a statement provided to Espen, claiming they thought the case was brought to generate bad publicity for Mr. Hill in an attempt to scare tactic him into personally covering the cost of Mrs. Hall's medical bills. Collins charged that Hall's attorney purposely left out Hill's initial complaint, despite the fact that Hill said Hall truly injured her leg while falling over a dog during the drills. A puppy disturbing a drill is mentioned in Hall's claim, but it is not stated that the dog is what made her trip and fall. In addition, Hill said the drills were amusing and mentioned that he had a claim open with his homeowner's his insurance provider, which aims to fully cover Hall's medical expenses. In his claim, Hall sought a jury trial and damages in the range of $50,000 to $75,000. Collins stated that Hill was ready to stand up for himself. When questioned about the lawsuit earlier, Dolphins general manager Chris Greyer stated that the organization has been in communication with the league ever since learning about it. In a legal action filed in February 23rd, Sophie Hall accuses Hill of abuse, assault, negligence, and intentional infliction of mental distress. The purpose of Hall's lawsuit, according to a statement sent to Espen by Hill's attorney Julius B. Collins, was to generate bad publicity for Mr. Hill in an attempt to scare tactic him into personally covering the cost of Mrs. Hall's medical bills. According to the lawsuit, on June 28th, when visiting Hill's house, she made Hill fall backward, which made others giggle then violently and with great force, resulting in significant and serious injuries. Hill charged into Hall. She says that she had surgery for the broken leg after returning home and that Hill neglected to get her medical attention. Hill is requesting a jury trial and damages in the range of $50,000 to $75,000. Everything Dolphins, up-to-date information on injuries, schedules, rosters, statistics, and more for the Miami Dolphins. According to Dolphins general manager Chris Greyer, the team is aware of the complaint this week. The complaint was brought in Broward County by actress, model, and influencer Sophie Hall, a Pasco County resident. According to the lawsuit, Hall bought a ticket for her 10-year-old son to attend the Boca Raton High School Tyreek Hill football camp in June 2023. Hall asserts that prior to buying the ticket, she never spoke with Hill. According to the lawsuit, Hill sent direct messages to Hall on Instagram the day after she enrolled her son for the event, making comments about her height in a flirtatious and playful manner. According to the lawsuit, Hill requested that Hall pay him a visit at home after Hall's kid attended the camp. According to the lawsuit, Hill arranged for Hall to pay him on a visit at his Southwest Ranch's residence on June 28th. When Hall got to his house, Hill had to go for a few hours, but when he came back, he and his trainer had a session on his turf field, and Hall just observed. According to the lawsuit, Hill then requested that Hall join him for offensive line drills, reasoning that since her 10-year-old son played offensive lineman, she should practice that position as well. Hill instructed Hall to rush him throughout the drill as if she were pursuing a quarterback. 
According to the lawsuit, Hall shoved Hill backwards, eliciting laughter from Hill's trainer, friend, sister, and mother. According to reports, Hill lost his cool and was visibly embarrassed after a woman touched him during the football play. The lawsuit claims that Hill subsequently set up the same practice with a roll switch, and when the ball was snapped, she held her own. This time, he charged into her violently and with great force, resulting in significant and serious injuries, setting up the action once more. According to the lawsuit, Hall broke her right leg, necessitating surgery and the placement of metal gear. The lawsuit claims that Hill, who is known as the Cheetah because of his remarkable strength and speed, earns his living by outplaying his opponents and humiliating them on the football field. Unfortunately, Tyreek got humiliated in front of friends and family when his friend Sophie Hall knocked him back during a friendly football lesson. Tyreek then became enraged and deliberately shoved Mrs. Hall, severely breaking her leg and necessitating orthopedic reconstruction and hardware implantation surgery. Hill is charged with minimizing Hall's injury and failing to seek medical attention for her. According to the lawsuit, he allegedly offered her to lie down and ice her leg and told her to rest. On July 1st, Hall went back to her orthopedic physician and was diagnosed with a leg fracture. According to the lawsuit, Hall experiences discomfort and weakness in her lower extremities and attends weekly physical therapy sessions to address her injury. In addition to negligence, Hall is suing Hill for violence and assault, as well as deliberate emotional distress inflicted. Hall is requesting a trial by jury. Hill has not responded to the accusations in public. There was no attorney for Hill listed in online court records who could comment on the lawsuit. The Daily Mail was the first to report on the case. It claimed that on June 28, Hall arrived at Hill's home. That afternoon, she watched Hill and his trainer rehearse in his garden before he invited the 6'1 model to participate in offensive line drills. The complaint claims that during their drill's first repetition, Hall shoved Hill back, making Hill's mother, sister, friend, and trainer laugh in his backyard. Apparently embarrassed by his loss of stability as a result of contact by a woman during the football play, Mr. Hill's attitude changed and he became angry, according to the lawsuit. According to the lawsuit, Hill downplayed Hall's injuries, even though Hill's running at her prevented her from being able to get up and move. According to Hall's complaint, she had a right leg fracture in July and is currently receiving physical treatment for ongoing leg pain and instability. Following reports that Hill had assaulted his son in 2019, the Kansas City Chiefs, Hill's previous team, placed him on the suspension. After looking into those charges, the NFL decided not to suspend him. In addition, Hill admitted to strangling his then fiance, who was expecting a child and committing domestic abuse. The Miami-Dade police conducted an investigation into Hill as recently as August of last year after he was alleged to have smacked a 57-year-old man after an altercation at Miami's Hallover Marina. No charges were ever brought. The lawsuit claims that Hill, who is known as the Cheetah because of his remarkable strength and speed, earns his living by outplaying his opponents and humiliating them on the football field. Unfortunately, Tyreek got humiliated in front of friends and family when his friend Sophie Hall knocked him back during a friendly football lesson. Tyreek then became enraged and deliberately shoved Mrs. Hall, severely breaking her leg and necessitating orthopedic reconstruction and hardware implantation surgery. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye. Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.